I was a highwayman Along the coach road I did ride With sword and pistol by my side Many a young maid lost her bubbles to my tree Many a soldier shed all right, there we have it. That was the first verse. There are four verses total. And if you use the chords I showed you for that verse, you can just uh, repeat that four times, switch the lyrics, and you have the whole song. There is a refrain after the third verse and after the fourth verse. I'll show you that later. I'll also show you how to do this intro thing. But uh, keep on watching. It's all to come here. And again, uh, this is David Potts. I'm with Song Notes. That is my personal project where I share with you how to play the songs I love. Check out my website, playsongnotes.com, where you can find the notes and tabs for this lesson and all my other lessons as well. Uh, but otherwise, let's get to this lesson. We're going to have five chords we'll need. D, B minor, G, A, and an E minor. Now you're gonna use those in different orders throughout the, each verse, okay? But um, those are the sort of building blocks you'll need. But uh, otherwise, let's look at this verse, okay? So again, here's the lyrics for this first verse, and the chords that you will play on top of the lyrics are sort of above each word. But what I also wanna do is look at the um, way that these chords are mapped out a bit more mathematically, right? So that would look like this. What strikes me about this song, uh, compared to most songs, is, um, there's not a lot of uh, repeating patterns here. There's not a lot of symmetry. Normally, when you look at a song in the chord progressions, it's usually, you know, two or three or four chords, and they're kind of always two or four beats, and they're, there's usually a very sort of discernible pattern you can pick up and kind of kind of jot down in your head, and it's a bit easy to follow, right? With this one, it's just kind of all over the place. You have uh, some measures that have six beats, some measures have four beats, so what I had to do was sort of write this down, print this out, just spend some time with it, and then also play along with the lyrics, right? Hopefully you have the song in your head. And uh, between these two, hopefully you can sort of get what you need. But I want to go through this one line at a time and sort of break it down for you, okay? So let's start with this first line. So this is... I was a highwayman, and on the coach roads I did ride. Okay, so I just played each chord once there. But basically what we're doing here is we're gonna be on B minor for two counts, and then A for four counts, and then G for two, and then B minor for four. Okay, now if we were to play that through, it would be like this. I'm just gonna do um, one down strum per beat here, okay? So, I was a highwayman, and on the coach roads I did ride. Okay, so that's the first line. In the second line, we're gonna do two counts of A, one count of G, one count of D, and then we have four counts of A, okay? So A is where you start and A is where you end with this second line here. So again, if we were to do uh, one strum for each count, it would be with sword and pistol by my side. Okay, now the third and fourth line. The good thing about these lines is you have um, a pattern that repeats itself. The third line and the fourth line both use the same sort of progression. So we have two counts of E minor, two counts of B minor, then we'll do two counts of A and then four counts of G, okay? So that would be Many young maid lost her bubbles to my tree Two, three, four Many a soldier shed his life blood on my blade Two, three, four, okay? There's a trick I want to show you here. Anytime there's a difficult part of any song you're learning, you want to look for like little ways that you can just make your job easier. So in this case, you're switching from a E minor to a difficult chord, a B minor bar chord. Um, you want to make that switch as easy as possible. So if you can minimize the things that are changing, the number of things that are changing, you're going to be, uh, you're going to have one less thing to worry about. So if you can keep your ring finger on that fourth string, it's just, uh, it's like a nice little anchor, okay? It's like a sensory anchor. Just um, focus on that ring finger, okay? This works for me. Um, it might not work for you, but it also, it might. So definitely check that out if you can, because it's a, it's a good little trick there. But otherwise, let's move on to this fifth line, okay? So we have two counts of B minor, two counts of A, then one count of G, one count of A, and then four counts of D, okay? So that would sound like this. 
The bastards hung me in the spring of 25. Okay, now, if you know the lyrics of the song and you're learning it, uh, keep in mind this is always the line in each verse where the character dies, okay? So he either gets hung or he, uh, the yards break off on the ship and they say he got killed or he falls into the dam and he's buried in that great tomb that knows no sound. Or uh, the starship one is different because that's in the future, I guess. But you get the idea that um, this is the only line of the six lines in the verse that ends with a D. So it has a very distinct sound compared to the rest of the lines. And it's also, you know, a distinct part of each verse and that the character is sort of reaching um, their fate ultimately. So again, it's... The bastards hung me in the spring of 25. Okay, and that moves into the last line, which is two counts of G and four counts of A. But I am still alive. Two, three, four. Okay, so there we go. That's the entire verse. I'm gonna play through it all one time. I'm gonna do uh, just one strum per count here. Single down strum to keep things simple for you. And I'll use a metronome as well so you can sort of listen along, okay? I was a highwayman Along the coach roads I did ride With sword and pistol by my side Many a young maid lost her bubbles to my trade. Many a soldier shed his lifeblood on my blade. The bastards hung me in the spring of 25. But I am still alive. All right. So that's what you need for the verse. Next, I wanna look at the refrain. So the refrain happens after the third verse and after the fourth verse. And this is like uh, when he says, and I come back again and again and again and again and again and again and again. So chord wise, here's what you'll need on top of the lyrics. Now there's a few things that are new here, okay? Now I will stress, these are optional. You can use the existing chords I already showed you and you'll be fine. But if you want a little bit of a challenge, here's what's new. One is you have this A over C sharp. Now what that is, is you take a regular A chord, but the difference here is that ideally, you want your bass note, instead of having it be an A, you want it to be a C sharp, which is the fourth fret of the fifth string. Now I play this by barring the second fret with my index finger, so, and I put my ring finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string. So four, two, two, two. And I'm only playing the middle four strings, okay? Okay? That's A over C sharp. And the other one you'll have is a D over F sharp. And what that is, is take a regular D, but you want your bass note, instead of being a D here, fourth string open, you want it to be uh, the low E string, second fret. That's an F sharp note. So I play that with my thumb here. You can kind of drape your thumb over. Again, totally optional. If you can't do it, no worries. Um, but the reason that you have these sort of notes with these different bass notes is you're going to sort of mimic a walk down. So notice when I play all these chords here, one at a time, listen to the bass note. And I come back again and again and again. Okay, now if you really want to play this song and you're having trouble with that A and you're having trouble with that D, just replace it with a regular A and a regular D. It's a lot easier to play and honestly, it's going to be hard to notice any difference. So, so that's all you need for that refrain. Again, you do that after the third verse, after the fourth verse. Uh, what's left? I want to show you this intro here, okay? Intro is a little cool riff here. Now I'm sort of muting my uh, guitar here, but you can play without muting it. Okay, so that's what you hear in the Highwaymen version of the song in the beginning. Um, what you're doing here is you're starting on the second fret with your index finger on the fifth string. So second, and then an open fourth string, and then second, third, fourth frets on the fourth string. 
and then back down. So it's open, second, third, fourth, third, second, open, and then back to the home note of B. This is the bass note of a B minor. Okay, this is the fifth string, second fret. So this is where you sort of begin and end. Now the key to this, a couple tips. One, if you can, try to alternate the strumming direction you do with your pick. Okay, so down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. If you're only doing down strums, it's a bit trickier because you're gonna have to hit, go down and then bring your pick back up and go down again. You're kind of making more work for yourself. You can do it. This is all down strums. But um, as a guitarist, uh, learning to do up strums and down strums alternating is a super important skill. It's very hard to do at first. It, I was super stubborn about it. It honestly took me a long, long, embarrassingly long time to really determine, uh, become determined to learn it. And I finally did, but I recommend it because it kind of makes your job easier in the long run. So if you were to play and alternate your strums, um, I would play it like this. So you would go down, then I would go down again because you're kind of moving, you're going from fifth string to fourth string. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Um, the other thing I'll say is you want to keep your timing consistent on the beat, okay? If you get a metronome, get a metronome app or get, buy one, um, get one and try to stay perfectly in time with each note so that you're, you're not going like this. If you're kind of slowing down at some parts and speeding up at other parts, it's not good. You want to play consistent the same speed. Um, and when you can do that, what happens is you practice, you get good, and you'll find that you can slowly increase the speed, okay? Now, I'm not able to play it as fast as you hear it on the studio version, but basically... One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay? That's about it for that intro riff. Practice it, and if you want to mute this, um, if you want to mute your strings a little bit... I'm just resting my, my hand right at the bottom of the strings here. You can kind of still hear the tone. Okay, so there you go, intro. And the last thing I'll show you is how to sort of walk into the B minor position. So what I'm doing there is, that's a second fret on the low E string, open A string, and then second fret on the fifth string. You also can do, you, so you can do that same idea uh, uh, like this too. So that's all fifth string, open first, second. One more time. You also can do it from the third fret of the low E string. Now, these are all notes that are in the scale of D, whether you're doing an F sharp, a G, or an A, okay? So if you go... This sounds fine. This sounds good too. And this sounds good too. Okay? You don't have to do this at all, but you hear this um, in some of the, I think you hear it in the album version in a few places. And pretty much a good way to do, a good place to do this is, Many a soldier shed his lifeblood on my blade. Right here. The bastard hung me in the spring of 25. Okay? Anytime you're transitioning to a B minor, that's a good way to walk into it. Okay? I wanted to show you that. But otherwise... That's all you need for this song. I really hope this lesson was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments because I love to answer them and I want to know what I missed. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed to this channel. I have lots of good stuff coming. Let me know what songs you might want to hear lessons for because I love to do things, uh, love to do songs that my, my fans are, are interested in, in learning. So otherwise, this has been David Potts with Song Notes. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great night. Keep on rocking. Bye.